I am buying the entire Off-White the 10 collection with just a $20 bill. Well, not exactly. Okay, I'm, I'm buying and selling and trading things with this $20 bill to get up to the Off-White the 10 collection, but you guys get what I mean. First stop, Goodwill. Ready to do this? Okay, so we ended off last week's episode with a sneaker collection fund of $17.20. We had two pairs of sneakers in the sneaker collection fund and one of them we actually ended up selling and that was the Kyrie's. So I found these giant Kyrie's at Ross for $4.99. They're originally marked at 60, but it looks like we had waited just long enough to get them for a really steep discount. Now I had had these shoes listed on eBay for like three weeks and there was just absolutely no movement. So what I ended up doing was selling them on Whatnot, which I knew that they wouldn't make as much because the audience wasn't as large and there isn't as many people out there looking for size 18 sneakers as there is on eBay. Not that there's many over there either, but I ended up selling them for $11. And after fees, because the buyer paid for shipping, we were left with $9.44, which meant that we had a, a reasonable profit of $4.45, which means, I guess in theory, we almost doubled up. So when we add in the $9.44 that we made off this pair of Kyrie's, we have a new total of $26.64 to spend. We also still have that pair of Kenny Kennedy Meeks PEs that we picked up at the end of last week's episode, and I'm actually kind of conflicted. I don't know whether I should buy that pair for myself, because I think I want to keep it and pay the amount that I paid at the thrift store, which is 10 bucks, or if I should uh, just keep the 10 bucks out of the equation and just hold on to the pair as part of the collection. I'm not actually sure yet what to do, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. All right, with that being said, let's get to it. All right, guys, so it's pouring rain today, but I'm headed to Center City, Philadelphia to meet up with a new friend of mine named Bailey and his wife, because we're gonna do some thrifting. I don't know if you guys caught the video earlier this week, but essentially, what happened was I bought a pair of Air Jordan 1 breads from 1985 from him and uh, he's still in the area so I wanted to do some thrifting with him and hopefully we find something dope. So guys we just met up with Bailey and Hannah. We're gonna do some uh, some thrifting and hopefully find something decent for the $20 sneaker collection. Are you looking for anything in particular? Dude I'd love to find some video games and of course I'm not gonna step on your toes when it comes to sneakers but you know <laughs> vintage clothing, video games. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Absolutely. Well so the first stop is uh, I think Philly Aids Thrift. Right, yep. Switch it out, you know what I mean? But are there any cases in there that are worth anything to you? Probably not. No, probably not. Xbox yeah. is a really low, I mean, you can get Xbox games for cheap. You could build a great Xbox collection. True. You know what I mean? Makes State sense. of Emergency, that kind of interests me. I've never seen that before. Yeah. It's a Rockstar game. Warning, check ID. It's got the manual and everything, that's cool. Yeah. Anything? No. Oh. Okay. All right, so unfortunately nothing at Philly AIDS, but on to the next spot. I don't know if they like authenticate, authenticate, but I know that most things here are good, and usually the people who uh, work here know generally what they're looking at. But they've got all sorts of stuff. I remember when these were on for a lot. Got some Supreme Air Forces for 99. That's probably about what they go for, I would guess. A lot of the stuff like doesn't have boxes or anything though, so like you're buying it like slightly used with no box yeah. generally. But I mean they have infrared. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Those are sick. Pineapple man top? That's dope. Yeah. How much for? Size, pure size. Size nine? Size nine. You found the Chicago's? How much for? 149? 149. How much do those usually go for? I don't know. I can tell you. I landed these on sneakers, but then I ended up selling them once I got uh, them out. Gotcha. Oh, wow, they got Travis's. Wow, almost brand new, it looks like. Let's see what's the price on these guys. Size 10, 249. That seems about right. I wouldn't. Surprised if that was uh, going right, and then they got Tom Sachs for 50. What? What size are these? Size 11? That's not bad. Over here, they got some uh, some fours. These guys right here for how much? 179 is not a bad price on these guys. Let's see, they got the metallic foams. It's like the older release for 99. Not bad. Oh, and then the Salehis. If this was my size, I'd get it. It is my size, but a little too big. 129. I usually go like eight and a half in Salehis. She also got the Legend Blues for 70 bucks. That's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Especially a little beat, but are you seeing anything you like? Not seen really. A lot of things I like, <laughs> but not for the price. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that's the problem with here. Like, you can find a lot of really good stuff, and sometimes it's like a little bit below what you pay. Sometimes it's a lot below, but you have to kind of find those gems. So we've got a full sneaker section over here. We've got Hold Up. Bad bunnies. Now I don't think these are legit, but for 188, that is not bad if they were real. But I'm just looking at the colors. I just don't. Do you think these are real? They're bad bunnies. They're like the $700 pair, but I don't know if they're real. They want 188 for them. 
Because I've got I've gotten a pair before actually from Second Street and it wasn't real in this exact same colorway. So I'm I think the colors seem a little off. Is my is my especially that stitching up there would be my guess. But I'm not sure. I don't want to because it's part of the twenty dollars sneaker class. I still don't have enough to buy them. It'd be a personal. I don't know if I want to <laughs> risk one hundred eighty eight for a personal. Uh, they do have um, giant New Balance nine ninety V sixes. Sorry V fives with new insoles. Four seventy. Okay, that's a no go. <laughs> some fly knits, nothing else I'm seeing. We got some PGs in a giant size, which are not worth it. They are huge, size 15. Not sample though. Kind of hoping that they're sample because they're this big, but they're not. All right, cheesesteak time. Let's do it. I'm gonna need you guys' impressions after you eat them. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, man! I lost it. <laughs> got it. Woo! All right, guys, so Bailey and Hannah are headed back to Tennessee, and uh, unfortunately, didn't find anything today. Yeah. But yeah. it is what it is. If you guys want to check out Bailey's channel, make sure to click the link in the description below. Also, check out the video that we did a couple days ago where I got the crazy grill. Yeah. Seriously, if it wasn't for you, man, I would never have that crazy grill. Yeah, I'm glad I could help. What do we have over here? Looks like we got some KDs. Some KD oof, sevens, I think. Either sevens or eight, but I'm pretty sure they're. Shoot, I don't know, but they're actually in really good condition. I mean, like excellent condition, 20 bucks, so I'm gonna check them out on eBay, see if they're worth it. Probably not worth it. There was one sale and it was for like 29 bucks, so after fees, we just canceled it all out. It's the Hyper Jade KD7s in a kid's size. I think it might have been a kid's only release, too, actually. Got some Kyrie's right here in a kid's size. Probably not worth it. Okay, so there is a pair of Asics here that look brand new for 25. I'm gonna check these guys out. So it's very close to grabbing them after seeing the price on eBay, but the problem was this right here. So that changed my mind, because that can't be fixed. So unfortunately, nada. Nothing in Goodwill today. So uh, it is what it is, man. Sometimes you have weeks where you don't find anything. And this is uh, turning out to be one of those weeks. Okay, so we just pulled up the Plato's closet. Let's see if we can find anything worthwhile. First things first, we've got some blazers in a huge size. For how much? 35 bucks. Probably not worth it. Some kawaii's it looks like. These don't really move, so I'm gonna leave those. What else we got? We got some Hirachis right here for 60, oof. Yeah, we can't grab these, but that would've been nice if it was 20. I probably would've grabbed those. Over here we got some Air Max 95s. Looks like they're recycled pair for 70, oof. They weren't 70. Some Skechers that look a lot like a pair of Adidas from a while back. <laughs> Comment if you guys know which pair I'm talking about. So unfortunately, Nothing can play this closet. And the rainy day continues, but the good news is my Vessies are staying strong. Socks are staying dry. Also, if you guys want to grab the flower collection, the Apothecary flower collection, there's a bunch of pairs available on our website right now. Check it out. It's an awesome collection. It comes in three colors. They're all fire. Okay, so in the case today, we got a bunch of boxes and some Lego Ultra Boosts for how much? Let's see. No price. Oh, 40 bucks. Probably not worth it, we also don't have enough in the fund, so we're gonna leave those. Got a bunch of stuff in this case. Some giant zoom wraps, but that's about it. Oh, the 11s are still here, but I don't know if those are real, so I'm gonna leave them plus the laces are messed up. Got some Nikes right here, I forget what these are called, but they're 15 bucks, they're not bad. Might have to check these guys out. This could be something. The XP racers, Some Brooks, it looks like Divide right here, for 10 bucks. Not bad, a little dirty. Might check these guys out. Cause they look like they're pretty good condition other than like the dirt. This might actually be a pickup. I think I'm gonna grab these. Just have to clean them up. All right, so not a bad pickup for the first pickup of the week. Now it does have a little bit of tearing on the heel, uh, which doesn't bode well, I'll be honest. I didn't notice that until just now, which I'm kind of disappointed about. But what I did notice just now that I'm happy about is that this shoe is actually only $6.99. I said $9.99 in there because I didn't read it right, but $6.99 is you know a little bit cheaper, not too bad. Now $2 cheaper, which I'm excited about, which means hopefully the profit margins will be $2 better. <laughs> now the question is, I don't know how quickly these will sell. These are women's Brooks Divide 3s, so um, it could be a minute, it could be a very short amount of time. I don't know, I'm gonna list them as soon as I get home and uh, hopefully we move them quickly. That's the name of the game. So unfortunately, um, I don't know anything else about it, but uh, I'm hopeful, so let's get back to it. All right, so it's really early in the morning. Um, I don't usually get up this early. I get up early, but not this early. I'm gonna go grab some cash from the ATM and then uh, go yard sailing, because I feel like it's getting near the end of the yard sale season. This is the perfect time to go yard sailing, because everyone's trying to get rid of everything. And uh, we don't have a lot of money in the sneaker collection fund, so 
I'm gonna buy anything I can, resell it as quickly as possible, and uh, hopefully we find something decent. All right, first one. How you doing? Pretty good. Would you do 20 for both of these shoes? You guys might have noticed that the uh, sneaker collection fund is at like $19.65, which is less than what I paid for these two sneakers at the yard sale. But the reason for that is because I decided to keep the Kennedy Meeks PEs because I think that sneaker is dope. And essentially what I did is added the $10 that I used to purchase that shoe back into the sneaker collection fund, giving us $29.65, I think? Yes, it is. Okay, we're good. Um, sure. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate it, you too. All right, so we were able to get these two pairs of sneakers, a pair of LeBrons and a pair of Jordans, a pair of Jordan 14s for 20. Now, I'm hoping that the Jordans are legit. I didn't recognize the tag, and I'm a little concerned that maybe, um, well, my hope is, is that they're really old, because <laughs> these 14s look really old. They're an OG colorway. There's a bit of cracking in the bottom. They are a kid size, so I'm thinking maybe that's what it is. But the LeBrons, I feel like, was a good pickup. They were listed at 15. Got them for 10, because I bought both for 20. So uh, hopefully, I don't know, these look good. I'm really stoked on these. So it could be that these are really dope, or maybe they're not, I don't know. But we're pulling up for the next yard sale now. Like sneakers, video games, anything like that. Fair enough. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. All right, so I just saw a sign for a house that says everything in house for sale, including the house. So let's go see if we can find something there. Oh, nice. Some blue bags. That's about it. All right, so that was more of an estate sale situation. Um, he had some wild stuff in there before he passed, so that was interesting <laughs> to see. But nothing that I was interested in personally. So uh, I did stop by another yard sale. They didn't have anything, but they like my Phillies hat. Hold up, I had to film this because this is ridiculous. So I'm driving past this house, and there's like a full-on flock of turkeys in the yard, like giant turkeys. What are they doing? In South Jersey, what are you guys doing here? Yo, why did the circuit cross the road? I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Is that after these pickups, we have a new collection fund of $9.65. But the good news is, we now have sneakers to sell, which is great. These guys have been listed for like four or five days and still hadn't moved yet. They are a lot cleaner than they were before. But um, I don't know why these guys are taking so long to sell, but hopefully they'll move over the weekend. These guys, I'm still not sure what to do with yet. I don't know if these guys are legit or not. I think that they are, but I'm still not sure. I'm gonna keep researching. And then these LeBrons look great, but they just need a little bit of cleaning. So for that, I'm gonna use the brand new Apothecary sneaker wipes, which you get for free with every order on Apothecary.com. So if you guys are looking to keep your sneakers clean, just make sure to carry one in your wallet and you should be good to go. They're great for cleaning up midsoles and all sort of good stuff. And uh, it's gonna make these shoes a lot easier to sell because they're gonna be clean. So that's pretty much it for pickups. Oh, and we did have these bread ones from Bailey, which are incredible. If you guys haven't seen the video where I got these guys yet, you definitely need to check that out. There'll be a link at the top of the screen. Also, I would love to see some of your crazy thrift and yard sale finds. So if you guys wanna have some of your finds featured in the next video, make sure to tag me on Instagram, Twitter, wherever, at Real Seth Fowler, and I might feature some of your finds in the next video. But guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you all in the next one.